Hey guys, it's Ross, and a lot of you guys have been asking me, uh, especially like three months from now, when it's time to prune our most of our fig trees, you know, that's what we're looking at today is our figs. A lot of you guys asked me three months from now, should I leave the figs on the tree? You know, should I leave the green hard figs on my tree or should I take them off? And you know, it's time to prune and I like to take them off, right? I, if I want to prune this tree and there's there's figs on it, it's going to interrupt my pruning process. You know, obviously these figs don't really do much, right? All throughout the wintertime, they're just going to sit there and do nothing. Well, I like to take it a step further and I don't really get to that point, right? I will take off most of the figs that don't ripen now. So 90 days from today, we fast forward, we're in... November 1st. It's August 1st here. These little pea-sized figs, guys, will not ripen. If they do ripen, they're ripening in inferior weather. It'll be an inferior quality fig. It's just not going to be good. So I'm taking them off. And what this is going to do is just free up a little bit of energy on this tree for this to ripen the last, you know, few figs that it has on it this year. And then it will also get another growth spurt before we head into dormancy, which I think is going to be quite positive. You know, we still have lots of time left for these trees to grow. And I would hate to have a tree, you know, let me show you guys my Black Madeira UC Davis, right? So my Black Madeira UC Davis is filled with figs. And this guy just is absolutely static, right? He doesn't grow. Um, He's kind of stuck here because he's got so many figs on it that's taking up a lot of energy. And any relief of energy that I can give this tree by pinching off the smaller figs, you know, that's always a plus. So that's that's what I'm doing with my trees is kind of trying to get them to ripen their full crop but also keep them in like a positive energy state is I guess one word. I'm, I'm not sure what the scientific definition of what I just said is. but. I would prefer, in fact, I may even take off a couple of these figs, right? The fruit load may be too high, especially with a variety like Black Madeira that has so many figs on it, it takes a lot of energy to ripen, takes a lot of time to ripen. I may not even get the full crop off of that tree, right? So I may take, let's say that the one down here will take 30 days to ripen and the one up here will take 45 days to ripen. So I'll take off the one that takes 45 days. You know what I mean? I may even start thinning my figs. I may, I just want to keep my figs in a, po a positive energy state so that they can grow and this can actually benefit them the following year rather than kind of keeping them so static for the next three months um, that they really can't do much. And they don't really have uh, extra energy reserves. I'm sure they have plenty of energy, don't get me wrong. But there is two alternatives, guys. You know, there is two alternatives to this. Uh, and there's another um, another school of thought. So the one other thought that I have is that, you know, let's say that, you know, this is a newly grafted variety as an example, right? I've never tasted this variety. Let's say I didn't know anything about it, right? Um, this is called mare de doux and this is certainly a common variety from Spain but let's just say that I didn't know that this was common let's say I got this from Italy and the guy I got it from has no idea if it's common or not right because they have the wasp everywhere there and they're clueless but let's say that this is an unknown I guess I would leave this thing on here in especially in a pea size you know a really small size let's you know I would leave this these little guys on here 90 days from today they will definitely either ripen or they will fall off the tree right and if they fall off the tree there's a good chance that that's uh, not common they need the wasp we don't have the wasp here you know it would be a Smyrna type at that point or a San Pedro type at that point at least that's one year of data towards determining whether or not this little fig here or this variety is common or not right so that's an alternative to what everything I just said the other alternatives is that you leave these little guys on you leave these little figs that I took off you leave them on and what people like to do you know in shorter season climates is that they'll take their tree 
and they'll put it in a greenhouse, obviously. You know, it's in a container, and that'll ripen in a greenhouse. You know, it's not freezing in November here, so at least you can get enough heat plus, you know, with combination of the greenhouse to get this guy to ripen. No problem. So there's that, right? You could do that. The other option is that let's say that this tree was completely dormant. We had uh, five figs on it, which it has right now, and there's no leaves, right? The tree is completely dormant, but there's figs still on the tree. Well, this is not going to ripen. If the tree is dormant, the figs are not going to be pumping out sugars. It's not going to be ripening the, the fruit. It's, it's really not going to be of great quality. Um, so what people will do is they'll leave them on the tree. Okay, and this is fast forwarding to what I said earlier in this video, right? The fir very first thing I said in this video is, Ross, my tree is dormant. I'm about to prune it. Should I leave the figs, the green hard figs on the tree? Well, I don't, but you can and leave this tree in dormancy in a storage area just like this. And then what will happen is the next year, the tree will wake up and they're called held over figs. Is what some of my friends like to call them and they've had pretty good success with them is that the tree will wake up and then the, these green figs that are still on the tree will act as brava, right? They'll act as a, a fruit that has been overwintered on previous year's wood and will actually ripen for them very early in the season and it'll act as a very early main crop and they'll get pretty tasty figs that way believe it or not so that's one option right we got the we got two options there and we had an, another alternative that I, I mentioned to you guys so you don't necessarily have to do everything that I just mentioned in this video and that's kind of why um, you know, I'm showing you this is because there isn't one answer to fit every scenario. You know, just because I want to take off the really pea-sized figs on every single tree doesn't mean you have to do that. You could do it totally dependent on your situation, depending on if you have a greenhouse, depending on if you want to, you have a good storage area where you can um, safely overwinter varieties without, you know, them getting any damage from the cold. It's totally up to you guys. So, I just wanted to make this video, you know, really describing where I'm at in the season right now. And I, I think I've done a good job of that this this year. And I think you guys have learned a lot of each stage of the year of what it is that I'm doing to my trees so that you guys can follow along and, and kind of replicate that. So anyway, guys, that was the video of thinning figs, I guess you could call them. Held over figs is another, you know, option or ripening them in the greenhouse so anyway guys i'll talk to you all later uh take care